Greetings. I am Kent Leonhart, Commissioner of Agriculture for the state of West Virginia. To the people of West Virginia, right now we are facing unprecedented times, but I want to let you know the actions the Department of Agriculture are taking necessary to support our citizens, state and local governments, and as well as the national effort in managing this COVID-19 pandemic. Clearly, this will be a trying time for our state and the nation. But our goal is that when this is over, the measures and partnerships we have formed will enable us to rebuild and be even stronger than before. Many of the employees at the WVDA are on the front lines of food safety. To maintain a functioning government and a reliable food supply, we knew we had to take care of our employees first. Early on, we ordered additional cleaning and sanitation supplies, as well as instructed our staff on further measures of sanitation and cleanliness. We were also one of the first agencies to adopt a work from home policy to mitigate exposure. For those who cannot conduct duties from their residence, we have worked with them to adjust schedules, reducing the spread of the virus. And we have done the same for our staff who find themselves with children at home as a result of school being canceled. Despite doing so in unusual working conditions, our staff is still answering phones and responding to citizens' concerns and needs. Knowing we all need to pitch in together during this crisis, we initiated coordination with the Governor's Office, Department of Education, the National Guard, and DHHR. I have held weekly calls with the Governor or his staff to discuss how we keep the food supply flowing and ensure that we feed those in our state who are most vulnerable. During these times, we cannot let our elderly, children, and the most at risk for food security go hungry. We fight this pandemic by keeping nutrition at a maximum, and the governor has assured me he will keep the agricultural businesses open and our food flowing. And to that end, we have issued guidance to various agencies like livestock markets and farmers markets. Our staff receives daily updates from our federal partners, including the USDA, FDA, FBI, and the White House. They too have taken precautions they deem fit to slow the spread of the virus. But so far, all meat, USDA inspection inspected, all meat, USDA inspected and state inspected are continuing as normal. Following guidance from the FDA, we have been forced to curtail all not for cause inspections. We understand the rationale from the federal government and await our ability to resume these safeguards. Since the WVDA is a member of the National Food Emergency Response Network, we are committed to keeping the Guthrie and Moorfield laboratories running with added safety and cleaning protocols. My greatest nightmare is that we would experience a potential foodborne illness during this pandemic. We cannot afford any increased strains on our food system, and I'm committed to doing everything we can to keep our food supply safe. We've been working very closely with the State Department of Education and the USDA to continue feeding all of West Virginia's school children. As you know, your Department of Agriculture, through its partnerships with the USDA and the Department of Defense, provides approximately 15% of the food to our state schools. Our staff is working day in and day out to fill special requests from these school districts. At the same time, we have been coordinating with our food banks to fill in gaps to ensure no West Virginian goes hungry. We have offered in our responding to requests to assist the National Guard and the West Virginia Division of Homeland Security as the situation dictates. For example, the Cedar Lakes Conference Center has been designated as an overflow site for Jackson Memorial Hospital. Staff are also assisting with the transportation of much needed personnel protective equipment to various local health departments. The WVDA trains for these types of situations where animal illness is the cause, and even though the virus is not directly affecting our food system, we are here to help when the people of our state need it most. We are currently in discussion with DHHR to help with surge testing capacity. 
to test more of our citizens is going to take additional manpower from trained professionals. The DHHR have been offered the skill sets of our chemists and microbiologists as the need arises. We understand at the same time the USDA requires us to maintain our laboratories free of the COVID-19 virus. Although we have no evidence to support such a concern at this time, we want to avoid any potential jump of the virus to food. Regardless of what is required of the department, the Guthrie and Moorefield laboratories stand ready to respond. The virus's cost to our state will be real, from potential loss of life to the struggle of local economies. West Virginia will feel the impact of the pandemic. We know these will be tough times, but we can get through this together. I hope you have found this short summary useful and now understand some of the steps we are taking. Please feel, re feel free to reach out to me. My office phone number is 304-558-3200. As good mountaineers, I have encouraged staff to use their additional spare time to volunteer and look after the children and elderly. I am proud of how every single one of them is responding to this crisis. I hope you too will be proud of them and will be pleased with our efforts and response when this pandemic finally passes, as we know it will. Thank you for listening. I'm Kent Leonhardt, your Commissioner of Agriculture, wishing everyone good health.